Four justices of the Supreme Court, three incumbent and one retired, stand as witnesses in the impeachment case filed against Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno on Monday. Associate Justices Teresita Leonardo de Castro, Francis Hardalesa, Noel Tiham, and retired Associate Justice Arturo Brion are invited by the House Committee on Justice to share their personal knowledge on allegations made by lawyer Larry Gadon. Gadon wants Sereno impeached because she allegedly made key decisions without consulting the Supreme Court and bank, misused public funds, and failed to be truthful about her assets. Last week, the committee wrapped up deliberations on at least one complaint, the apparent delay in acting on the retirement benefits of retired judges and justices and their spouses. House Justice Committee Chairman Reynaldo O'Malley earlier expected the committee to vote on the complaint by Monday, but he has since adjusted the schedule, pegging the vote to happen by January 2018 at the earliest. House Majority Leader Adolfo Farinas on Sunday says President Rodrigo Duterte will ask Congress to once again extend martial law in Mindanao. Farina says a letter requesting for the extension of martial law signed by Duterte will be delivered to both the Senate and the House of Representatives by Monday. Medjaldea earlier said Malacanang will ask for a one-year extension. Farina said the House leadership will discuss the request and then discuss with their Senate counterparts. He adds the Senate and the House will hold a joint session, the same procedure we had when we extended it. Last July, Congress voted to extend martial law in Mindanao until December 31. Communications Secretary Martin Andenar says the Chinese government selected China Telecom to invest in the Philippines in a bid to break the current duopoly in the local telecommunications industry. China Telecom is one of China's biggest telecom companies and is one of two that expressed interest in entering the Philippine market, the other being China Mobile Limited. Andenar says China Telecom will now need to look for a partner in the Philippines in keeping up with rules and foreign ownership limitations in the Philippines. Under the 1987 Philippine Constitution, only companies with at least 60% Philippine ownership can operate as a public utility. Last November, President Rodrigo Duterte offered China the chance to have one of its firms help establish a third major telecom company in the Philippines. The last time the Philippine government entered into communications deal with a Chinese company was in 2007, when the administration of President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo signed a multi-million dollar deal with Chinese firm ZTE for a national broadband network. But the project was riddled with anomalies, including allegations of overpricing and corruption among government officials who brokered the deal. 